ELISA is a technology for bottom-fix offshore wind substructures bound to disrupt the market, as for the first time ever, allows full onshore pre-assembly of complete substructure and turbine units which can be installed offshore with no need for any heavy lift maritime means. It has now been fully demonstrated with a 5 megawatt prototype in Canary, Spain. ELISA is made of concrete and uses a gravity-based foundation platform which is self-floating during the installation process. A platform construction rate of 50 to 70 units per year can be achieved for commercial wind farms. The platform incorporates a disruptive autolift telescopic tower made of precast concrete panels. These are manufactured in parallel to the foundation and moved by truck to the tower assembly position. The precast panels are assembled to form the tower sections, reproducing the process followed in the 1,600 precast concrete wind towers engineered by Esteco, which are operating around the world. Construction rates of one tower per week can be easily met. The tower lift is thoroughly tested in harbour. It is based on conventional heavy lift strand jacks, which can be recovered and reused in different units. The first astonishing innovation comes now. The nacelle and blades are fully assembled on shore. The telescopic tower lowers the assembly height greatly, reducing crane requirements. The full assembly and pre-commissioning happens in controlled harbour conditions, thus reducing risk and enhancing possibilities for industrialization. To optimize the foundation size while maintaining high stability all along the installation process, an auxiliary platform is coupled to the tower. During the service life of the turbine, this attachable platform can be adapted and equipped with a commercial onshore crane to perform large corrective maintenance operations. Then, in-harbor towing and ballasting tests are done prior to moving offshore. The telescopic tower brings down the center of gravity, increasing stability and reducing movements. All key functional parameters are monitored permanently. After everything is checked, towing happens with only one conventional tugboat. This is the second key novelty. Installation will not need any heavy lift vessels. This bypasses the constraints associated with the capacity and availability of these means, including those linked to country regulations limiting the use of imported vessels, like the Jones Act in the US. Once on site, two extra tugboats are added to ensure positioning, and the ballasting process commences till touchdown in a controlled manner. Everything is monitored and remotely operated from a control vessel. When the structure rests on the seabed, the TIM platform is detached and can go back to pick up the next tower. The final operation consists in completing the lifting, reaching the final operating hub height. Then power cable connection happens as in any other system and the turbine is ready to operate. The result is a fully certified offshore wind turbine installed with complete independence of marine cranes. This is key for the much needed scalability towards the next generation of very large offshore wind turbines. Besides, the use of concrete increases local content, brings down the cost, avoids piling noise and provides a robust substructure with minimum maintenance needs.